Hey everybody, Richard with Hanson's Lawn Care here, coming from Woodbury, Minnesota. Thanks for watching our video. This is actually the first video that we put out in any of our Facebook groups or social media platforms. So, thanks for watching. Uh, we're encouraged by that. Thank you very much. Um, so, this video is just really going to talk about um, Hanson's Lawn Care. We've only been in business for about six years now, uh, but kind of the key contributors to the success of Hanson's Lawn Care over our last six years. And one of those things is just about mentorship. Um, if you've been mentored by someone or you've mentored other people, the, the idea is just like how great it can help um, overcome obstacles, especially young entrepreneurs, overcome the obstacles that plague a lot of young entrepreneurs in business. And why having a mentor can really help you overcome those things quicker and catapult you to new levels um, much sooner than you would have been able to without that mentor. And then the other thing is, um, just talk about my buddy Brian Ring. And anybody that's probably heard of Hanson's Lawn Care or, or me, Richard Hanson, has probably heard of me or Hanson's Lawn Care through Brian Ring. And he's been my mentor since day one in business and still is to this day. And, you know, I, I even hesitate saying that we're best friends because, it's more than that. It, he's he's been he's my brother, you know, and um, and just it's great to 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 know him and and the things he's helped me overcome in my business and catapult to new level, levels has just been phenomenal. So uh, this video is just a little bit about you know the mentorship and the things that's helped Hanson's Lawn Care been successful and just giving accolades to my buddy Brian and and maybe hopefully this will just motivate someone else. That's in business to either mentor someone else or go find a mentor. There's always guys, I believe, or gals that are willing to help someone else out. Um, you just got to find them, you know. And thankfully, I'm in that position. I've been in that position with, with my best friend, my brother, Brian Ring. So hey, we're going to go check out some of our snow removal equipment real quick. And then we'll come back and talk a little bit more about the mentorship and kind of like the history between Brian and I and the history between between us and our businesses and how things have kind of developed. So, be back in a few. Okay, we are back now. I'm right here uh, in Woodbury, right in front of my house. And just want to show you three of our uh, pieces of equipment. So, uh, this is our 2015 Dodge three quarter ton. It has the Western Prodigy on the front. And this is our 2016 Ram three quarter ton, also with the Prodigy. Um, we like those. Uh, I know the wide outs have a little bit more features on them um, as far as like control, but uh, the wide out, or the, I'm sorry, the Prodigy's um, less valves, less problems potentially to go. And uh, I don't drive every single piece of my equipment, so I have employees. And um, yeah, we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> but um, we got our trucks lettered nicely. Um, You'll notice that they're very similar in nature to Brian Ring from Ring Lawn Care, just the way everything's set up. So, as I discussed before, he's my mentor in the business, and um, I really mimic a lot of the things he does, and I just kind of make it my own. Uh, so, there's a lot of similarities to the way we run our business. So, here is our 2015 Kubota L60. Um, that plow on the front is actually a short iron back blade, so it's similar to the Ebling, uh, a little different construction style. But I mounted that on the front of our tractor. Um, so it works out pretty nice, actually. And on the back, for residentials, we have an 82 inch Norman inverted snowblower, which is a beast. I mean, that thing can throw snow pretty far, and um, it just eats up the driveway, so. Most of the time we can do a driveway in about two minutes or less. So, pretty happy with that. So, the reason to show this isn't just to brag. Uh, before, that, I was in the military for six years, active duty. And uh, before this, and I just, I always bought old, you know, used vehicles. You know, I've, I'm never, I'm not a flashy type of guy. Um, but I see the value in having nice equipment for your business. Um, especially if you serve a fairly high type of client, residential client that, that we do here in Woodbury. Um, they want to see nice equipment and they want to know you have nice equipment because they want to know they, they can rely on you. 
so that's the reason why we have this equipment. So it's it's, it's not just about me trying to show everything here and um, you know brag. It's really about to show how in a short time you can you can move up pretty quickly and make a name for yourself. And I'm just hoping that I can motivate people with this. So um, we have another truck in the back. We're not going to show that because it's a little bit older. Not as pretty as these as these three pieces of machinery. Um, and then we have an enclosed trailer, which basically is such a silver trailer with logo, phone number, website, just like this truck. So it uh, looks really similar uh, just in the trailer feature. But So we service roughly, for winter time, we serviced about 135 residential driveways and 11 commercial properties. Uh, the commercial properties are pretty small. Um, most of them are an acre or less. Um, well, actually, there's a few that are an acre. The, the rest of them are about half an acre or even smaller. So not big commercial stuff, um, but we do a lot of driveways. And then with our commercials, it's a nice balance um, between the two. So... I'm going to put this equipment away, come back and talk a little bit more about mentorship and about my buddy Brian. So stay tuned. So just put the equipment away and um, yeah, I just want to talk to you guys about uh, about mentorship. Um, well, let me, let me give you a brief a little history about myself. I uh, graduated college at 18. I took off for the military, served six years active duty in the Air Force. And when I came back um, from service, I was going to college, got married, and my wife and I had uh, had our daughter uh, about a year into our marriage. And then and I figured, okay, well, I'm still in college. I need to do something. So I decided to start a little lawn care company, and I would just um, put Craigslist ads online hoping to get some work and Craigslist is pretty spotty in my neighborhood or in my area so I'd get a few jobs here and there at one time I think I had maybe a handful maybe as many as seven or eight jobs really wasn't much as uh, not much to survive on and so one day out of the blue I get a call from Brian Ring and uh, I didn't know him at the time and he said hey I have some jobs in your area um would you like to take them and kind of gone, gone on from there and at first I thought well what's this guy trying to do I mean why is he trying to give me jobs he's in this business he can do it himself so I, I just kind of thought oh there's some guy trying to burn me uh, I didn't give it really much thought and then he called me again and from there we connected he the first year well he was gonna he was, he was gonna let me borrow his trailer borrow a mower and stuff like that he eventually did borrow me a mower a 36 inch walk behind let's go which I quickly purchased from him uh, but he gave me seven or eight jobs it might have been as many as close to a dozen jobs the first summer just to keep me through especially with the little jobs I had and um, and then he built my website and, and just started mentoring me and so what I left out as part part of that story is that you know my, my wife sat home with my daughter uh, we didn't. I didn't want my wife going to work. I wanted her to stay at home with our family, and that's kind of always that was always our goal when we first started dating. That's that's what we wanted. So, her going to work was out of the question for me. So I had to figure out a way to earn enough money. And so, before Brian called me, I was literally a day or two from calling a guy up. Actually, I had already talked to him. I was a day or two from starting to work for a guy, carpentry uh, apprentice. I don't know, I think he's going to pay me 10 or 12 bucks an hour, which is, you know, it's not bad money. I mean, at the time, it was, it was six or seven years ago. Um, it's not bad money. It's not great money, um, especially when I'm trying to, I want my wife to stay home and I want her to raise her, her kids, you know. So when Brian reached out to me, and we finally connected, and he, he was willing to lend me a mower, give me his accounts to take care of for the year, and get me enough work to keep me going and start mentoring me. That, that was huge. I mean, who, who does that? At, at the time, he had to have at least two or three employees plus himself. I know he could have handled the work, no problem. 
So, and he may have made a few bucks off each account, but it was it was just that was his time for billing the clients and having to deal with my, all my questions and and answer, you know and answering all my questions. So, I mean him him reaching out to me and willing to give me those jobs so that I could accomplish what I wanted with my wife and, and her stay home with our family. I, I don't think he. I don't think he realizes. I don't think he realizes just what that means to me. Because, and what else, the other alternative is, me would have to get a full time job and another part time job, or maybe even more, maybe two full time jobs. And I would have done that, but I, that would have left my family just without me most of the time. And <laughs> it's huge, man. I mean, if that's where if that's where our relationship stopped, that still would have been huge because it allowed me to overcome a hurdle. And without him helping, I wouldn't have been able to overcome it that first year. It would have took several years for me to get over that hurdle. And so, actually, that was that was pre year one. That was I call that my year zero. zero. Anybody in the military that get, gone through boot camp knows that you spend a good half a week or, or a week there. It doesn't even count to your actual boot camp time. Um, so we call that week zero in the military. So week year year zero for me um, was Brian reaching out to me, lending me those jobs, and then, like I said, it, had he stopped there, and that's all the help and support he got from me. That would have been huge, more than most people ever offer anybody in their whole lifetime. But that's, it just got started there. You know, from there, you know, he mentored me. You know, he he taught me the ins and outs of the business. Like I said before, my little clip before was that, you know, a mentor can help you overcome hurdles and obstacles that would normally plague you as a young business owner. I'm not saying that you're a young person. I'm saying as a business owner that just started, a young business, okay? And a couple of those things were how to properly estimate jobs, so that you're actually making money and you're not lowballing everything in the industry because that only ruins it for everybody else. But he helped me learn how to estimate jobs so I know, okay, what I'm making, what I should be making per man hour. And then the ins and outs, ins and outs of the businesses, uh, business, uh, there's so much, you know, just um, he's taking me to clients' homes when he's pitched a sale to them. So I see how he's interacted with them. I've seen how he dialogues with them, how he approaches little nuances um, that he wants to convey to them or they're trying to convey to him so he can understand, they can understand. Um, how to set up crews, how to... I mean, I, I've been out to his jobs before and he showed me how to weed whip. I, I, I think the first... It was him and his oldest son were mowing the salon and uh, I don't know why I went to meet him, um, but he... But he's like, and I grabbed a weed whip or something. I was gonna help him out for for an hour or two or something, and uh, I was weed, I was walking backwards. We we which you know whatever. I, I've seen guys do it, and you can do that, but it's not very efficient. And uh, and he touched, you know, showed me how to how to weed whip properly. I mean, that's one thing's huge because in mowing your lawns, the weed whipping is really really critical because you can really mess up a lawn quick, you know, burning it, scalping it just from the weed whip, you know. Um, how to properly tie down equipment, which sounds stupid, but it's a huge deal because DOT is strict, you know, and, and that can those can be thousands of dollars of fines. Uh, built my website, showed me how to do stuff on my website so I can do some things on my own. That's a little secret I'm not supposed to tell, sorry. But the reality is that, I mean, he, even to this day, I mean, this we're six years in our business. Um, I've known him for six years. Uh, I said before, I hesitate even calling him my best friend because he's more than that. He's, he's, my, he's my brother. And just, I have a brother that's down in Florida, and I'd go down there at a drop of a hat if he needed me. And same thing with Brian. He'd be over here at a drop of a hat if I needed him, or I'd be over there at a drop of a hat if, I, if, if he needed me. Um, we're family. We look out for each other. I remember one time, it was late at night, probably 10, you know, 9, 30, 10 o'clock at night. We just, my wife and I just put our daughter to bed. We were going to hang out. Um, watch a movie that was like 20 below and uh, he, he calls me up and says hey Bailey is his daughter she had a flat tire 
man, can you go help her? Because it was, like, right by my house. I'm like, oh, yeah, for sure, brother. I mean, she's, you know, she's family like that, you know. I'll, I'll do anything that I that you need me to do. I'll go over there and take care of it. So, um, my wife and I, we just moved into this house in Woodbury. I showed you the outside of the house. But um, this summer, I didn't even... I didn't even call him. I didn't even ask him. He just plans unannounced. I'm going to help you out at your house. So on the outside of my house, I needed a little class five put down and a little uh, driveway, makeshift driveway made so I could park my equipment in here. And he came over with his own dump truck, uh, dropped off the material, spread it, and brought his, his skid here, pack it all down, graded it real nicely. And I... I'd even ask him to do that. He just did it. You know, that's that's the brotherhood that I'm talking about. That's that's the reality of our relationship, you know. Um, a lot of guys talk about, you know, having friends in this industry, and that's great. Um, but I encourage you to find a brother, you know. Find someone that you can rely on because there's been times that I've reached out to him in need, and there's been times where I haven't even reached out to, uh, to him, and he's already been there to help me out. So... And that's the cool thing about families that you just do things for each other. And you don't even ask. You know they don't have to ask. That's just that's just the reality of of being a, a family member. So um, I'm sorry if I'm going on and on and on. There's just so much to talk about in this in this business that he's helped me out with. So um, as I said before, we're about year six into this business, and we have been growing. St- steadily since our first year in operation and a key contributor to that is the websites that brian makes so any of you guys that know brian no ring lawn care you know he makes websites he can get you found online he can get you found quickly and help you catapult your business to new levels i and probably a dozen others at least are a testament to that so he built my website and within a few months it was on the first page of google and since then it has crept to the first page and it's our first spot on page one and it's been there for at least two or three years now um but it's always been on page one and that has allowed us to properly gauge how many clients we can get in or new clients will contact us and new clients will land year to year over the last you know three years we've been doing that and why that's so great is that it allows us to properly um plan ahead you know, it's all about planning ahead, you know, um, five P's in, you know, in business or life proper or prior, but proper planning prevents poor performance. So if you got the five P's down, you can never blame anybody but yourself. So if you plan ahead, you're going to perform well. If you don't, then the opposite is true as well. So with the websites that Brian's created for, for me, it's, it's been, other than his guidance and his mentorship, his friendship in this business has been one of the best or key contributors to the reason that we're successful to this day. And um, just a little glimpse into my family then. Um, my wife still stays at home with our daughter. Which my daughter's in school now. but And then we have a newborn while he's, my son's four months old. So she stays home with them. And, and, still, and she doesn't really do anything in the business. I don't really need her to. Um, I use Service Autopilot, which is a great function and does a lot of automation for us. Um, I handle calls on the fly. Um, I, you know, we get uh, it just we have a really streamlined business, and of a lot of that, at least seventy to eighty, probably even more of that is due to Brian. So, one thing Brian always preaches is, you know, stay close to home. You know, kill your neighborhood. Right? Don't be driving 15, 20 miles to get to jobs if you can find a job in your neighborhood because at the end of the day if you're driving that's just creating more expenses so if you have a guy sitting with you in your truck or two guys they're dry they're just driving with you looking out the window and they're enjoying life because they're getting paid but you are spending gas money and their time their labor um just to get to the job before you've even done any work so you know work on your neighborhood keep tight routes stay close to home and that helps keep expenses down. And that's a Brian, that's Brian Ring, that's Ring Long Care 101. You know, that's what he's preached to me from, from day one. So I've always stayed true to that. And that is the reason, that is one reason that we've been doing really well with this business. So going back to the idea of having a mentor is that it just, it really helps you overcome these obstacles 
that plague young entrepreneurs or young business owners because what I have been able to do in five to six years more than likely would have taken me nine to ten years to accomplish or maybe even a little bit more. So when you first start in the industry, you can do a lot of research and try to figure out what you should be pricing and how you should be you know, performing operation, operations. But if you have the tried true success of someone else, someone else helping you, and you learn those lessons so much quicker, probably three or four times as quick. And that's what Brian has done for me. He has helped me learn these lessons quickly and learn from his mistakes. He said to me over and over again, I want you to learn from my mistakes mistakes, so you don't have to follow that pattern as well. Now, Brian's got a really success, success, successful company, probably twice as big as, as I am. Um, but I'm always gunning for him, and he knows that. And that's the competitive spirit of, uh, of the brotherhood, you know. My brother down in Florida, I mean, when we were growing up, we are always competing against each other. Um, and the same thing is with Brian, you know, I'm always chasing him, but see, he's always learning more things and he's always teaching it to me. So his, his guidance has never stopped. And that's what being a true mentor is. That's one thing about being a true mentor is that, you know, you don't, you just don't help someone get to one level of business and just leave them high and dry. You want to continue helping them as you continue to grow. So I would encourage that if you're a young business owner, or even if you're not, but you're struggling and you need some help, find someone that's been where you've been, that's farther along in business than you are, that's more successful from, than you because they've learned a lot of these things that you're battling with and they can help you overcome them. And Brian's done it with me um, since day one and I, there's always someone out there that can that can help you out. You just got to help. You got to go find them. But if you're the type a business owner that you've been around for a while and you're successful and you know what you're doing, I want to encourage you to go help someone else out too because, <coughs> excuse me, I can't really, I can't speak on Brian's behalf, but if I could, I would assume that he's benefited a lot of it, out of this because, I mean, not to sound like I'm the best guy in the world, but he's great, he's got a great friend in it, in it, in it because of me, um, or because of helping me, um, I'm sure he's learned things along the way as, as well, um, just being a mentor and how that's helped him. So, But it's the opportunity to give back into this industry and, and make it better, you know. And, to, well, it kind of help, helps in other ways too. Think about it. Like if you're helping someone that's new to business and they might not know how to estimate jobs, you're helping ensure that the industry is not going to get lowballed, so to speak. So there's kind of a selfish motivation there if, if you will but at the end of the day um giving back really in some ways benefits the person that's helping more than another person that's helped because you get so much out of it and it's uh it's an intangible asset that really can't be described other than experiencing it um but i know that if if it's tried and if it's pursued then being a mentor to someone else always pays off and always benefits you as well so so if you're young in business and you have some difficulties or some hurdles that you just can't overcome or you just need some help, reach out to me. I'd be willing to help in any way that I can. You can reach me at HansonsLongCare.com or on Twitter at HansonsLongCare. And last but definitely not least, my brother Brian, man, I appreciate you so much. You don't fully realize how much you've helped me and blessed me in my business. And because of that, my family and I are indebted to you. You know, you are my brother. You're the uncle to my children. You're the man that's looked out for me and helped me out in ways that a lot of people never have. So I'm deeply indebted to you, man. Because of you, I have been blessed with the opportunity to provide for my family in a way that I never thought I would have been able to and they my family and I have a wonderful life and I know without a shadow of doubt that the biggest contributor to that is that you've been there to help me out and I thank God for you because you are a true friend in a world where people lie and talk behind your back but at the end of the day I know that you got my back and I got yours brother and I appreciate you man I love you dog so grateful for you man Thanks, man.